my name is Luis Ocampo and I'm a real estate agent with Century 21 Judge Fight. Today we're going to talk about the proper buyer steps necessary in order for you to purchase a home. So the very first step you want to do is you want to talk to a lender and try to get pre-qualified. In the process of getting pre-qualified, you're going to go over your credit score, your income, and your debt to income ratio. With all of those three things combined, he'll be able to tell you if you ever qualify for a home loan or if not, what is required of you in order for you to qualify for a home loan. Then, what you want to do is you want to download some apps. There's some great ones, Zillow, Realtor.com, or Zap, which I can send you a link for. After you start looking at homes in the areas that you're interested in, we'll pick about maybe two to three, and we'll go check them out in that region. Once you actually pick a home that you can see yourself living in, at that point, I'll do a CMA. I'll gather all the comparable data information that's sold in that neighborhood so we can compare it and make sure it's not overpriced or if we know if it's undervalued. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to order an inspection. This inspection is going to be about 20 to 25 pages long and they're going to show you exactly what's wrong with the home. With this, we're going to use to either negotiate down the sales price or negotiate repairs. And once we're done here, we'll officially be pending. Now that we're officially pending, the next step, you will have to order and pay for an appraisal. This appraisal is going to be a third-party company that's going to go to the house, take pictures, and do a quick little preview of the home and qualify it and appraise the value of the home. Now that you've ordered your appraisal, you get to lock in your interest rate. After you lock in your interest rate, you have to look for insurance companies that you would like. I highly recommend you bundling with your car or any other insurance that you have. The closing date happens to be a target date, so we all try to shoot for it, but things happen, you know? For example, sometimes the lender may want a new roof, or sometimes they want to see extra documentation on the survey. It just depends.